Hi everyone! It's amazing, another month has gone by and here we are at the completed pages video again. I don't know about you, but summer always seemed a little busier for me and um, less time to color, I think, with the later light. I want to be outside more, but um, between a out-of-town vacation and a major surgery for my husband and a car accident for me that totaled my car, I'm fine, but I still found myself with way less time to color. So I've only finished six pages this month, and last month I finished 13. So um, one was a little higher than normal, but this month I think is a little lower than normal. But So this video will be short and sweet. I like all the pages I did, so let's get into it. The first two pages are in um, Worlds Within Worlds by Kirby Rosans and they are the nesting dolls. I decided I wanted just a, a simple basic two color scheme for each one so um, I picked a variety of colors I thought would go well together. These are all um, either Castle Arts pencils or Black Widow pencils. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else other than those two sets of pencils in here so it was um, a lot of fun coming up with the combinations and um, I think even there's probably three purples and three oranges, three teals and three rusts, three pinks and three greens, and you know th uh, maybe only two blacks, three you know three shades of red, three shades of blue, three shades of yellow, um, and then just a couple of shades of brown and green for all of those are the same, uh, the greenery. So yeah, really even limited palette within um, those two sets of pencils. So it was a lot of fun. Uh, making those combinations and yeah I really like them so yeah not a whole lot to say I was trying to do different hair colors for all of them I think I succeeded but you know nothing too fancy but uh, just some combinations that I really like together I tend to I find I color a lot of pink and green a lot and these two colors combinations I seem to do often so yeah so there's the first page I like them a lot and the second one, I revisited Ivy and the Inky Butterfly, which I hadn't colored in for, oh, I don't even remember how long, maybe a couple years, I'm not sure, but this page was already done. But yes, I had cut the binding off and put it in the binder right at the beginning. It seemed just easier and made sense, but uh, this is the page I did in June. Um, another fairly simple page with some green gradients behind it. I tend to color books like these colors I usually would use green, but since there's so much green, this, but this burgundy red, the navy blue, and then a gold, those are my, I don't know why, but my go-to book colors, I they feel fancy or something, I don't know. <laughs> oh, but I like my little B, and uh, yeah, it wasn't uh, too fancy, but I also tried to draw in the idea of some flowers in the keyhole, since the, key, the page next to it is this keyhole that you can see um, the garden through. So that was my one attempt to modify, which I don't do very often, but um, yeah, I just like the way those greens um, work together. So just another simple, simple little page, but it did motivate me again to, or to pick up this book more often. I really would like to get this book done. So hopefully we'll see some more completed pages in this book. Oh, I just got reminded that I did use a little bit of gold in the bindings of the books because it made it look like, you know, some, a lot of them are engraved with gold. So, yeah, I forgot I did that. Hold on, I get that out of the way. I didn't make sure that was going to be well. Oh, there you go. I think that works well enough. And those were all Prisma colors on that page. And then the next one I did is in my Traveling Europa book. My Risa Dirt Europa by Rita Berman. And this was for a color along. I only completed four coloring color alongs this month out of all the ones that were on my potential list. So, um, excuse this, this is my, just my, my back, sh back sheet so my colors don't transfer. But um, last in May, I, I completed all of the color alongs that I had written as potential options. And this month I only did four, so that, that's okay. I had fun and that's my goal. Why is that showing up dark right? Oh, it's on my screen. Interesting. 
Okay, but again, it's just the, the limited palette of 24 pencils of polychromos, and um, there's one, the pinks are um, Artezas. Again, I forgot to write that down, but there is some pink in there, but mostly polychromos. But yeah, simple with my, my colors, and um, but I like the way the oranges and the greens play off against the, the blue of the water. So yeah, it's simple. Nothing fancy, but I like it. Looks like a fun little carnival I'd like to visit. <laughs> then the next one is in Flora by Maria Tro Trolle. I don't know how to officially say it, and I've heard it a few different ways. So I apologize to Maria if I, well, either way, I said it wrong at least once there. But um, this page was a lot of fun. Uh, I My goal for this page was to complete it for two different color alongs, the Enchanting Year of Color by Jamie's Coloring Love, because her prompt for this month is Forest, and it had a pond in it, so I was going to make it for the Pond Habitants Color Along by I Am A Coloring and Books. And it wasn't until I took the picture when I was done that I realized there's actually no pond inhabitants. These are animals in the pond, but they don't actually live there. So then I drew in this little fish <laughs> to make it work for that color along. So I did cheat a little bit, but um, these were all polychromos pencils. So I just really love how it turned out. I tend to not worry about all of the, you know, the, the white spots. So I know some people like to make them all gone, but they don't really bother me a lot of the times and sometimes after a big full page like this I want to just be done and um, I'm just happy if I end up with a page where I like the color combinations and um, I like all the color combinations that I came up with for the basic greens and the browns and a few things so I consider this page a success but yeah it's only pencils no no fancy things and when i one thing i did realize this is one page i did like probably three years ago and it was one of my very favorites but over the years i didn't don't think i realized how much color transfer would happen so i had to there was a lot of this color on this page so i had to erase some and it still i didn't get it all but now this page looks a lot more faded than it did originally so i'm tempted to just go back in and and darken up freshen up some of the color transfer and I'm starting I just bought some parchment paper because it's happening in my Europa book a lot too since I transport that so many places every week but um just to put something in between so there's not so much transfer uh, and and pencil loss because I don't want to get started with spring fixative and all that I just I'm trying to limit the uh the number of art supplies that I buy and um so I think that'll work just fine. So yeah, that was Flora. And the last one that I did, I told you this video was gonna be pretty short, was this page from Molly Harrison. It was a PDF download. And I've seen her work for years. And everyone, including her, colors them so beautiful. They just look magic and otherworldly and so I was always intimidated but um, I wanted to jump in and try one so the uh, this main circle and the fairy were drawn in and then I drew these other circles to try to fill in some of the space and um, I like it it's not fancy again and it's just uh, well I used four different colors of pencils um, but I wanted it just to be mostly faded with just a little bit of dark to offset her face but I just like the hints of color and I um, I think I I like the transparency of the wings I wish I could have achieved a little more transparency but I didn't want to make it too dark so um, again by the time I got to this stage I did I stared at it for a few days while I was working on my next work in progress just to see if I was really done or if I wanted to do more. But as is my regular thing, I tend to 
um, not love to spend a ton of time once it kind of feels done. <laughs> you know, it's that last two to five percent that always takes the longest, the bit, you know. So, um, but yeah, overall, I'm very happy with it, and I'm still um, learning watercolor techniques. But I think her style and her um, illustrations lend themselves very well to watercolor so once I get a little better at the finishing touches of watercolor and, and making it more even washes and things it's definitely something I would like to try so that is it for my finished pages I do have a um, quite a list for July that um, I want to start and this one uh, color along or the yeah one color along is a scavenger hunt where the goal is to get at least 30 of these 45 things so I've identified two pages so far that will get me halfway to completing this list so now I just need a, <laughs> a few more pages to fill in the rest but uh, it looks a lot more intimidating than it is because it's all summer like summer accessories and things and if you can find a good summer page there's like I found one page that had like 10 11 things on it so um, but then that will uh, count for a few different color alongs so yeah, that is my finished pages for June. I'm hoping for a more restful July um, and a little more coloring time and I and hopefully more time to make videos going forward now that um, the busyness of June is over. I have some ideas, but if there's any types of videos that you guys would like to see, either, um, I don't know, color alongs or live streams even. I love, I love those. And a lot of the ones that are out there don't really fit my schedule too well. So if you like, like just live videos that I will color something and we can chat, if there's a specific time of day or day of the week that you, um, that works for you that isn't already filled by someone else, um, let me know in the comments because I would love to try to make some more um, chatty connections than is able when then we're able to do in just in video or in, in on instagram so yeah that is my coloring journey for june and i hope you have lots of uh, downtime this summer if you're in summer or in your winter weather for if you're in the southern hemisphere but uh, have a great day and i will see you soon thanks everyone <music>